Maranatha, my PVC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another quick bite, living the word. Today we're going from Galatians chapter 6. I want to pick up verse 7 and, uh, and then we'll just read down through uh, verse 10 probably. But then we'll come back and talk about this. It says, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. I mean, life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Now, what I th might made me think about this is, obviously, right now, we're in the midst of the harvest season here in southeast Idaho. Uh, we've already seen the wheat harvest happen. We've seen potato harvest is going on. We've just seen harvest happening after harvest. And I got thinking about this and how the Lord really talks about our lives and in regards to the idea of what we're doing here. First, he talks about that which we sow, that which we plant, that will also reap. If you plant uh, of your tongue, if you plant of wickedness, if you plant of anger, if you plant of malice, if you plant of bitterness, that's what you're going to reap. But then he also says this, he says, but those that sow it to the Spirit, shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. And I love that idea. The more, the more you want the Spirit in your life, the more you want to grow in Christ, the more Spirit you're going to plant in your life, for lack of better terms. And let us not be weary. And this is the part that really stood out to me this morning. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Don't get tired of doing the right thing. Don't grow weary of walking with Christ. Why? Because in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So many of us think we have to have instant rewards, right? That's part of the problem with our society nowadays is all instant. I need it now. I need it now. I need it now. You know, buy it now. Buy it now. Get it now. It's yours available today, you know, instead of just patience, waiting on the Lord. Do what you're supposed to do and wait to see the harvest. So my encouragement for us today is this. Don't grow weary. Listen, you don't plant in the spring expecting to harvest in the next day. You plant in the spring expecting to harvest in the fall. So let's keep planting until we see that harvest. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.